In this app my site review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this WordPress app builder. App my site lets you create mobile apps in minutes with an AI powered WordPress app builder. Once we log into app my site, we can see it's got our three steps: personalize your app, connect your website, and publish your app. So first, we're going to click on build app. Here, you will just enter the link to your website. Select the CMS platform. Mine's WordPress, so I'm going to leave that on. You can also enable if your website uses the WooCommerce plugin. Mine does not. And then here, you will give your app a name. Once you've filled them in, if you click on build app. OK, so the first section we've got is the app icon. As we can see on the right hand side, we can see right here, it's got it on a smartphone, so we can see exactly what it'll look like. You can first select the background color. I'm going to go for pink. You can then add the app icon text. Mine's called Daniel's Test App, so DTA works fine. We can then also select the font. I'm going to go for Times New Roman. Our font size, go for 13, and the color of our text. There is also the option to upload an app icon. You could just click on there and upload your own icon. Once we're happy, if we go on next, so this section here is for the launch screen. You have the option of uploading a background image or you can customize it and set a background color. So I'm gonna set our color again to pink. We then have some alignment options where I can go at the top, in the middle, or at the bottom. We can set the logo text, the color of the text, and again, the font, and the font size. Again, you can also upload your app logo if needed. Once we're happy, if we go on next. Okay, so this is the login and sign up section. Again, you can upload a background image or set the background color, your logo text, the logo color, the font, and the size. You can also set the alignment for your logo. So you can go to the left, center, or right. I'm gonna do center. Again, on the right, we've got this smartphone preview and we can actually set it from iOS to Android and see what it looks like on both. We then have the welcome text. It automatically says login or sign up. You can obviously customize this. Customize the text color, the font, and the font size. You can then set the social button shape. So from circle, square, or rectangle, if we scroll up, we can see that that's automatically set a circle, but we could go for rectangle. We can see it there. You can then set the primary text color, the secondary text color, the button color, and the button text color. Once we're happy there, if we click on next. So this is for our color theme where we can style our app layout. So you can set the primary color, the text color, the font, and your button color. And we can then see it there on the preview as always. Then let's click next on there. OK, so this section is the home screen section. So we can enable all these different options and we can also move them around. So change the order of them. So the first option we have is home header. We can obviously enable that or turn that off. You can see it on the preview there. We can then change the settings of the section colors. So we can change the background color, heading color, icon background color and icon arrow color. We then have blog banner. We can obviously just turn that off and it goes straight to the categories. I'm going to leave that on. Below there, we have the blog categories. You can actually just scroll over the smartphone and scroll through the app, which is really cool. So we have a blog categories there. We can go into settings and you can obviously customize these with the columns, the shapes, background color, text color, categories, and sorting of the categories. Below there, we have the main banner. We can obviously turn that on and off, or we can customize the settings. Below there is popular blogs. We can turn that on and off. Recent blogs, and then we can enable web view. The final option we have is the pages section. We can obviously enable that, and we can also select pages. This will take us to a separate page where we can connect with website to select our pages. So that's everything for the creation of our app. As we can see on the dashboard, our test app shows up there. But on the left hand side, we can see we've got quite a few different options here. So below dashboard is analytics, which will show you your analytics for the app. We then have appearance, which we've just been on. And we then have connectivity, where we have the option to install plugin. 
where we would install the app MySite plugin into WordPress. We've also got grant access. That's obviously where you verify ownership of your website. We have troubleshoot. So this has got our troubleshoot connectivity. As we can see, it's got our test items like plugin installed, plugin activated, WordPress connectivity, etc. It's got our messages, response time and result. And then below there we have monitor. And this is where we can set how often we want our app connectivity checked. So you can set it for frequency for weekly, monthly, and set the day. Below connectivity, we have settings, general menu, bottom bar, users, posts, pages, and social. On the bottom bar, you can configure your bottom navigation. As we can see here, we can turn these on or off. Below bottom bar is users, where we can enable user login, enable guest browsing, prompt user login on app launch, enable Google login and registration, enable Apple login and registration, and enable Facebook login and registration. Below there is posts, where you can manage how your posts appear within the app. We have pages, where you can manage how your pages appear within the app, and then we have social. And this is of course where you can connect your social medias. Below settings, we have preview. Once you've installed the app my site plugin and connected your app, you'll be able to view it here. We then have download, where you can build and download your iOS or Android app. Below download, we have publish, where you can obviously publish your app to Apple App Store or Google Play Store, Android and stuff like that. Below there, we have performance. There's three options there, web hosting, security and maintenance. We then have notifications, chat, merge apps, monetization, add-ons, and users. And that's just about everything. So what did I think of App My Site? Well, App My Site made it really easy to turn your website into a smartphone application. There was a whole range of customization options, so you could really get your layout exactly how you wanted it. There was also little things like being able to scroll on this smartphone app preview. That really brought it to life. I would definitely recommend App My Site. It made building an app easy. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.